I want you, I want, uh, I want your opinion on, on what is happening in the border. Did, uh, did, did you get to see the news today? Yes, I've been seeing it for a week. What's going on in Haiti? It's it's uh, it's crazy. The the gangs are taking over the country. Right. Ah, okay. I want you. To, uh, I want you to give us an analysis. What is your opinion on what is happening in Haiti? And 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 I want your opinion. How can the Haitian people resolve that? Go ahead, Kane. Uh, f first of all, uh. You have to have faith in God. I, I, you know, Haiti has a history on that island of witchcraft and a lot of uh, evil stuff. Um, but, uh, it's, uh, man, I don't even know if I could uh, answer that question. All I could say is have faith in God because uh, that's a very wicked island. Am I correct on that, Edward? You, you are correct. You, l let me tell you something. Uh, the history the history of Haiti, from its, from its beginning, that country has never gone forward. And everyone says it that the witchcraft and and uh you see uh witchcraft king shapes uh we, without mentioning any because we're not going to mention names or nothing i've uh, and, and i thank you and i thank you for bringing that up even here on youtube even here on youtube i have heard people say that they're going to go to the cemetery and they're going to dig up the bones of people I even, I even heard of uh, people saying that they're going to piss on the grave of a person, that they're going to dig up bones. That is an infamia. So that is the same thing that has happened in Haiti, KJ. Yes, and, uh, and that is not real Santeria. Can you please explain what is what is real Santeria? Right. Real Santeria, and I, and, and I, and I, and, and I did a few programs of it when I first started, because I've been doing lives already for 10 months. Real Santeria, Cain, real Santeria is this. Let's say, let's say you go to the hospital and the doctors cannot find what you have because a lot of people, a lot of people have sicknesses, real sicknesses that the doctors can't find it. The doctors cannot find it. So, so if the person has faith, if the person has faith in God, the Santeros, these santeros they they cure these people that uh see santeria is only to do good yes. uh, people uh people came that do witchcraft that is blasphemia uh an example a person that does witchcraft to another person that evil that you do to another person that comes back to you a hundred times yes can you please explain what december 17th uh, december 17th is to uh people in the caribbean September, I'm sorry? December, I'm sorry, December 17th. Okay, December 17th is El Dia de San Lázaro, St. Lazarus. And also December 5th is El Dia de Santa Bárbara. Mm -hmm. but, but getting back to the, to the main question, St. Lazarus, that is the saint that God, that God revived from the dead, from the dead. In Santeria, in Santeria, that uh, that saint is called uh, Babalu. Babalu. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is Saint Lazarus. Uh, yes. Go ahead, Dave Chase. No, no, I said yes. I was agreeing with you. Yes, that that is uh, okay. that is uh, my father's saint, Saint Lazarus. Okay, uh, okay. Is is your uh, uh, is your dad alive? No, he passed away a few years ago. Okay. Uh, uh, be, be, being that you being that you have brought up the topic of your dear dad, uh, how long how long has your dad been? How long has your dad passed away? Uh, he passed away in 2017. Okay, our respect, our respect to the memory of your dear dad. One question, uh, Kane. Uh, when when was the last time uh, ha have you and your family sent him like a like a special holy mass? Um, I, I, uh, I don't know about my, my family on my father's side, but I, I have it. I have it. Now. Okay. When, when was the last time, when was the last time that you sent your dear dad a holy mass? I, I, I don't, I don't believe I, I, I ever, I like candles for my, my father. Okay. Whenever, yes. uh, okay, Kay, whenever you have a chance, just go to your nearest Catholic church. You go to your nearest Catholic church. You go to the rectory. You go to the church rectory. Uh, you can give $5. You can give $10. It doesn't matter the amount. 
-hmm. You tell the priest, you tell the priest that you want your, that, that to please mention the name of your dear father in the mass that you choose. Okay. And, th and then the father, while he's doing the mass, the priest, while he is doing the mass, he will mention the name of your dad. And, and what that does is that that gives light and that is like you showing respect to the memory of your dad. Uh, that is like praying a rosary to the soul, to the dear soul of your dad. And after you do that, Cain, you are going to feel great. But And never forget, the body dies, our body dies, but our spirits and our souls are eternal. You see, yes, your I dad... Yeah. I'm sorry? I believe in that. I believe in that. Right. You see, your dad, your dad passed away. His body, his body passed away. But his soul, his spirit is always with you, Cain, is always with you. And, and a good way, and a good way for you to honor your dear dad, and also your dad, by you doing that, spiritually, your dad's spirit will receive light. And that is, uh, uh, that is like a gift. And by you doing that, uh, you will receive blessings from God. And you are going to feel, you're going to feel like brand new. Okay. Sepa. Yes, thank you. Thank you for enlightening me on that. I definitely will uh, find that. The Catholic Church, right? Right. And, and, and this is important, Cain. Uh, when you light a candle, when you light a candle, always, uh, always light a small candle. There is no need. There is no need to buy big candles. Oh, okay. You, uh, you I usually light? like purple. I always like purple candles. Okay, okay. But but when you light a candle for your dear dad, make sure it is a white candle, a small white candle. You can light it in your home, or you can light it in the church. Okay. Uh, I would uh, I would suggest I would suggest always light the candle in the church, but a small white candle. It, okay. it does not have to be a big candle. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, I choose purple is because that is uh, his saint, St. Lazaro. So when I think of my no, father, right. I always I do purple. But yes, I will definitely uh, light up a white candle in the church. Okay. And uh, the colors the colors of St. Lazaro, it can be purple and also yellow, KJs. And oh, okay. also yellow. So, okay. so, so, so you are correct in the colors. But I want to stress this. Uh, you can get a you can get a little a small purple candle, or a small yellow candle, or a small white candle. But make sure that the candles are small. Uh, them them big glass candles, uh, I do not recommend them. Uh, okay. Never forget, safety is first. Safety is first. And the most important thing is the good faith. Is the good faith that you have in your heart. Uh, it is not the size of the candle. The candle should be small. Uh, the most important thing is your good faith. Is your good faith. Okay, I was going to ask you. Uh, you were born in Cuba or you were born here in the United States? I was born here in uh, the United States. Okay, and we, uh, if I ask you a question and it's too personal, do not answer it. Okay. Uh, 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 in, what, in what state were you born? Uh, Miami. Okay, Florida, okay. Florida, 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 yeah, Miami. Yeah. Okay, you know, so have you, you ever been to Miami? Miami is like its own country. So, okay. Well, honestly, I have never, I have never been to the state of Florida. Uh, oh you're, so, you're right there. Puerto Rico's right there. Right, 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 right. Uh, the, right now, right now, they are over one million Puerto Ricans that are living in the state of Florida. Uh, most, uh, the we used to have, we used to have in New York City. Uh, in my era, because I was born in 55, when I was born uh, in 55, in the early 60s, they were over 1 million Puerto Ricans in New York City. But, but the majority, the majority of Puerto Ricans are now living in the state of Florida. Here yeah. in Puerto Rico, here in Puerto Rico, our population here on the island is 3.2 million. And then we have over 5 million Puerto Ricans all scattered around the 50 states, but the majority of them are in Florida and and in New York. But uh, New York does not have the Puerto Rican population it had when I was a kid. When I was a kid, over 1 million Puerto Ricans in New York City. Uh, Kane, I'm going to ask you a question. Have, uh, have you visited Cuba? 
no no my, when my father was alive he was trying to get me to go but no unfortunately i wish i could have but uh no i haven't visited cuba maybe one day okay uh let me tell you if you ever want to go to cuba from florida you uh you go you go to the Rep to the dominican republic and from the dominican republic you can go visit cuba you can it would be great for you to visit cuba uh let me tell you something kane the uh another question have, have you visited puerto rico oh uh, no but uh my mother has my mother has yes okay, my mother okay. uh, before my mother married my father she was uh, married to a puerto rican and she lived in puerto rico for a year with uh but this is the early 70s but yeah my mother lived in puerto rico yeah. okay the 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 cuban culture and the puerto rican culture it is the same they call uh puerto ricans and cubans they are known uh, they dicen el pájaro la misma ala del pájaro translate that in english okay um uh the the pájaro, i can't uh, my, my my spanish is not that good okay 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 that means that means that puerto ricans and cubans they are they are blood brothers because yes. uh, why why because our well, culture, the Caribbean. right right and also our cultures our cultures are similar are similar and also this there there is a strong there is a uh, there is a strong relationship like family because when when cuba when cuba became independent when cuba became independent uh, a group of puerto ricans help cuban help uh help uh, cuba at that in that era to become they fought uh they fought for the for uh for the independence of for the independence of cuba did you know that yes i, I did know that and the flags are were very similar based on that am i correct i'm sorry and the flags are uh the cuban flag and the puerto rican flag are are very similar because of that correct right that is correct that that is correct and let me tell you something else uh here in puerto rico uh we uh we have we used to have we used to have a large population of uh of we used to have a large population of cubans the majority of the cubans are now are now living in florida but here but here we still have a i would say uh this is just an estimation we have maybe around 20,000 20,000 Cuban brothers and sisters that still live here in Puerto Rico. Here in Puerto Rico we have La Casa La Casa Cuba mm -hmm. that they have that that all the all the Cubans get together and they have their activities and they celebrate they celebrate uh they they celebrate they celebrate their special holidays but what I want to be clear Kane uh Puerto Ricans and Cubans they are like blood brothers they yes. are like blood brothers yes and i have a question to, to you and um you know mata the drink mata right um mata. there's a yeah mata mata um there's a there's an indian that's on uh, the the mata uh bottle his name is hatway is that a tribe and and um it was i believe it's a tribe in cuba but the, the hatway tribe was it in puerto rico as well are you familiar no, with no. that the only the only tribe the only tribe that existed in puerto rico but to be clear the spaniards the spaniards killed them all los yeah. taínos los taínos oh, okay well the cuban tribe but, was the uh, the hatway they actually have I a statue do. of that in the airport in cuba okay okay mm -hmm. but but here in puerto rico to be clear taínos and i and thank you for bringing that up they are a lot of people there are a lot of people that think that the puerto ricans come from the taínos no uh puerto ricans come from the spaniards from spain mm -hmm. just like the cubans yeah, just, just like, like my cubans. grandfather my great grandfather was born in spain right 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 you see all hispanics uh came all all hispanics our ancestors come from spain come yeah. from spain because uh there's a lot of people that uh being that they don't know that uh they say that the puerto ricans come from the taínos no uh we do not to be clear uh uh i am not i am not downgrading the taínos with the utmost respect and everything but but puerto ricans the essence of puerto rican culture and history our great ancestors just like the cubans uh come from spain come from spain yes yes are you familiar with king alfonso the sixth 
from Spain? No, no, I am not. No. Okay, well, according to my grandfather, that uh, my, my bloodline comes from, there was a king, King Alfonso the Sixth, and that's where uh, my bloodline comes from. That was according okay. to my grandfather and me, well. Okay. The, uh, let me tell you, uh, Kane, my mother, my mother, my mother used to say this always. Uh, we all have, we all have to learn where we come from. Yes. Because that will make us a full person, Kane. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Kane, uh, another question. Uh, is your dear, is your dear mother, is your dear mother still alive? Uh, no, Edwin, no. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, no. made, uh, my, our respect to your dad and to your dear mother and to your dear mother. So, Kane, when, whenever you have, whenever you have a chance, go to your nearest Catholic church. You go to the rectory. An example. Uh, you tell the priest, uh, Father, I am going to donate ten dollars. Please mention my dear mother, and please mention my dear father in the holy mass, and try to attend the mass. You see? Definitely. And definitely. You, I will definitely do that. And let me tell you, uh, Kane, you you are going to receive. You are going to feel. Listen to me carefully. You are going to feel like if your dear mother gave and your father giving you a hug spiritually. Oh wow. And 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 uh and, and I am gonna ask you this. Have you ever have you ever been uh let us say have you ever had this experience? And this is uh, this main this mainly happens this main this mainly happens when you are in bed sleeping. Have you ever felt that you are paralyzed completely? That you cannot open your eyes? Um, I don't think I've ever experienced that, no. Okay, okay. If you ever experienced that, let us say, let us say that you are sleeping and you, and you feel completely paralyzed. You cannot move. You cannot open your eyes. You know what that means? That, that, a, that a loved one, one of your loved ones that have passed away is giving you a hug is giving you a hug that means that that spirit is hugging you and blessing you and you will feel that you will feel that for a couple of minutes it can be one minute or it can be two minutes but it is brief it, oh, wow. you feel come uh you uh, you get paralyzed completely you cannot move you cannot open your eyes that is a loved one that is hugging you Cain. oh wow so i want you to save that in your wallet you save that in your wallet. And also, King, uh, I want to tell you this. You know all these people on YouTube. I'm talking in general because yes. I never mentioned names. Yes. There's a lot of people that like to do uh, paranormal uh, programs. Yes. And they like to go to haunted houses. That is hard. That is dangerous. You that's see? Which, that's they are Yeah. No, what they are doing that they are playing that they are playing with the dead and you cannot play with the dead you see uh there is a content creator but there are many content creators yes uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of content creators that like to go to haunted houses and uh and 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 seek out ghosts what they are doing they are disturbing the dead it is like playing that game of squeaky uh uh, what what is the name of the game with the, uh, board? the board? Right, the board, yeah. Right. Let me tell you, Kane, that Ouija board. If you have, uh, I advise that to everyone. If you have that in your home, throw it in the garbage, because that's where it belongs. Let me tell you, that game, that game is a diabolical game. That game will open, will open the door to evil. And if people are not, if people are not prepared, in other words, uh, people that play that game, people that like to uh, go to haunted houses, what they are doing, Kane, what they are doing, they are playing, they are playing with the dead. And you cannot play with the dead because if you are not prepared, uh, people that do that, they could even go insane. They can go insane. Yes, it's a very dangerous game that you're playing when, when, when you do that. And it's witchcraft, too. That is correct. That is correct. And also this, and, and I know that you have heard it, and I have heard it. We are, not going, we are not going to mention names. But I have heard people on YouTube 
I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to the cemetery. I'm gonna piss on someone's grave. I'm gonna dig the bones of your, of your relatives. Listen to this one, Cain. Even saying that, the, the person, the people that say that, they are, they will receive the harshest punishment. Because you see, a cemetery, a cemetery is sacred ground. Is sacred ground. And people that mess and people that go to the cemetery to do evil things, uh, their punishment, their punishment came is unimaginable. What is happening on YouTube? It is a constant uh, back and forth, back and forth. No one does nothing. Uh, YouTube, YouTube is not enforcing their rules. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you, if if a person, let's say, let's say, let's say Dick Tracy. Yes. Dick Tracy insults James Bond every single day. Let me tell you, if James Bond takes Dick Tracy to a criminal court, the judge or a jury will decide. And I guarantee that Dick Tracy will never again insult James Bond. Understand? Well, wouldn't wouldn't this be a better? Well, not better, but uh, probably just as, just as better. Probably if um, James Bond would just ice out Dick, Dick Tracy. Because sometimes the best response is no response, right? Right, right, right. But but these people, these people must learn. You see, uh, I have uh, I've been to uh, to be clear, Kane. I've been on YouTube since 2013. Wow. But but to be clear, uh, I'm, uh, this is my third year active. Yes. My third year active. Let me tell you, this is my this is my opinion. I am 68 years old, Kane. I have never in my whole, in my 68 years, I have never seen the behavior. Listen to me carefully. In my 68 years of living, I have never seen the behavior that I have seen here on YouTube among, among, among some individuals. Total disconnection. Total disconnection of reality. They live, they live in a world all their own, but they must learn. They must learn, Cain, and the only way that they're going to learn, it is, it is, it is if they go to a criminal court, and there, they have to answer to a judge and to a jury. That is the only way. That is the only way. And, and I, but, but I, and I'm, you know, uh, you're entitled to your opinion. My opinion is, I believe that everyone in life, they carve their own path, and I, I, I think it's up to God uh, to make that decision. Okay, okay. Uh, I respect your opinion, and uh, it is my opinion, King. Uh, this is the opinion that I have of you. Uh, you are very intelligent, uh, brilliant, and uh, uh, you are you are tops. You are you are a one in my heart. You are you are just like Emery. You are both very uh, very talented and very intelligent. Thank you, thank you, Edwin. It's, I think, is this the first time I ever was on your show? Huh? No. Is this the first this time I've been on your show? Yeah, uh, uh, if I am not mistaken, you uh, you came, but but you were in the chat. You were in oh, the chat. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I've watched I've watched your show uh, quite a few times, but I think this is the first time me being on your panel. Right. Uh, this is uh, but this is your channel, Kane. This is your channel always, also, and you and you are like and you are like blood family. You are uh, you. Uh, uh, I consider you. I consider you. I consider you. A good person, a good person, and a decent young man. Thank you so much, oh. Edwin, and thank you for enlightening me today. I will definitely um, find the church uh, uh, very close to me and, and uh, uh, do that. Um, I would, I would, I would love to do that. Sí, y, y, y te voy a decir algo en español. Mm -hmm. eh, tú, eh, eh, yo te aprecio mucho porque tú tienes vergüenza. Yes. You know right from wrong. There are a lot of people. Okay, there are a lot of people that do not have vergüenza. Mm -hmm. that, they have no self-awareness right right